Good morning, everybody. I'm going to start again because Lila's having some technical difficulties and I don't want to have a 14 year old and a mothery moment with, with us. So we're just going to start off today and talk about every single cleanser. And I have got so many that are my favorite for the last 20 years. I've got gel cleansers, I've got exfoliating cleansers, and I've got cream cleansers. So I'm gonna go straight into it. And those of you who, there might be some of you who think, what is a cleanser? I have had that comment on Facebook. And there's others who do a full on double cleanse and understand the way that I am obsessed with cleansing. And Many um, people, many people, you know, experts I love say, do you need to spend money on a cleanser? And I think there's a weird reason why you should. Um, well, it depends entirely on your budget, but we can buy the cheapest cleanser like we can buy the cheapest moisturizer. But the ritual of cleaning your skin is the foundation of a good skincare routine. And for me, since I've been looking after my skin, which is probably... 30 years, the one thing I have always done at night is double cleansed my skin since I was 20. And the reason for that is whatever else I choose to put on it will work better. And the cleaner my skin is, if I had bought a 200 pound product and I didn't clean my skin properly, it would be like spending, uh, I could have spent two pounds because it will have no penetration. Um, I use tools to help with my cleansing routine and I use massage to help with my cleansing routine. And that depends on the type of cleanser that I'm using. So I'm gonna just take you through it all now. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Jenny, Louise, Zoe, Sandra. Um, Sandra says, good morning, Trinley, Lila, and Lily, Lila. Um, um, back again, and there's lots of bunny pictures, bunny, because they all love you. Um, Noel, Melissa, good morning. Good morning, Tim, good morning, Lisa, Allison, Kim, Heidi, Lisa, Samantha, Fisher, Lisa, Kelby. Now, can I just state also here that cleansing is for males, females, teenagers, grannies, it's for everybody. Um, it's something that, to me, uh, you know, some people who are male might not want a smelly, feminine smelling cream, but cleansing is key. And I'm going to start off with exfoliators. My routine is that in the morning, I will exfoliate and then cleanse. And in the evening, I'll cleanse and exfoliate. Um, and the reason for that is that I like to really wake my skin up in the morning. So I'm going to start with my Secret 7 Exfoliating Cleansers, all right? Now, in no particular order, here they are. One for everyone. So let's start with a lovely, sweet product, which I discovered about two years ago. And it's by Linda Rodin. Linda Rodin was a wonderful, is a wonderful stylist, um, very elegant woman. And she has about um, maybe 10 products in her range. She's just introduced lipsticks, but it started with an oil, Olio Lasso oil, beautiful um, jasmine based oil, facial oil, fabulous product. And then she added this cleanser in. And this cleanser is a very, um, Japanese based cleansing ritual, which is when you take rice bran and it's a powder, and when you mix it with water, it becomes a slight grain. This is 38 pounds. Um, so the base is rice bran, and then you've got a little bit of vitamin B and E, and then it's got a wonderful little bit of jasmine in it. So you mix a tiny bit of water, take off my glasses now, like a sprinkle of water like that, and you put it on your face, and it goes from feeling like an exfoliator to turning into a paste. So this is not an abrasive exfoliator. The smell of jasmine is just beautiful. And I, quite, I find it quite important when I'm waking my skin up in the morning that I have, that's why I think my morning products do have quite a few wonderful organic products in them because I like to inhale something and for it to stimulate me. Um, and you just add on as much water. If you want it to be quite grainy, add on less. But if you want it to become more silky, because if you imagine rice does then turn into a paste. You see now, the more water I add, it turns into a paste. Oh. And you can massage very nicely with it. You feel the vitamin E and there's a certain oiliness that comes out when you're mushing together the rice bran. Not a stickiness, just a 
an ease by which you can move your fingers around your face and do a bit of massage. So if you're somebody who likes a morning massage routine, this is a great product to start with. You don't need very much. Obviously fantastic for traveling because it's not a liquid. Good plus point. I'm gonna show you that first one. My skin is gonna be so clean by the time I finish this. Lila, are there any questions? What? Are there any questions? I told you I can't get onto it. No, you can't, okay. Lila was going to be my assistant, but she can't get on Facebook. Oh, okay. So, that's number one. <laughs> Let me just see if there's any questions. Um, uh, good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Lisa. I, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Okay, I'm just going to go through them and then, um, and then I will answer questions. The next one is Super Facialist um, Vitamin C Exfoliating Scrub. And what I like about this is the price. It is £9.99. Um, she's an Irish facialist. I always call her Una Brenner, but it's Una Brennan. And I think I say Una Brenner because I had a friend called Una Brenner. Um, this smells very... What's the smell? There's a smell that's reminiscent in this product. Let me show it to you again. There we go. Things are going to be back to front because I have got my phone facing me. Um, but for £9.99... The um, a kind of exfoliation is soft. It's not drying. Vitamin C on your face in the morning is a very good idea. You know I love that vitamin C paste from Lixia. But I like the idea. This is not going to be a huge amount of vitamin C. So you'll get a little bit of a tingle. But you get a nice exfoliation. And it's not strong. But you can still go around your areas which I think need exfoliation the most. Anywhere where your skin is rougher, but you're getting, gonna get lines. So I wouldn't do this around my eyes, but around my mouth, I will be quite aggressive and I'll really exfoliate and I'll rub my lip into my gum and go for it. This is also because I had scarring from acne years ago. So my skin is very tough there and I can sort of do anything I like to it. If you have sensitive skin, don't go in this strongly. But for $9.99, from Wake Up Exfoliation, Una Brenner, great product. Can take that off. I will have the cleanest skin when I finish this. So what are you doing, Bunny? I'm on Snapchat. You're on Snapchat. Of course my daughter's on Snapchat. Okay, let me just take that off. I would normally take this off with water, but I've got, I've got on some silk trousers and I'm gonna have lunch with my mum and I don't want to get dirty. Okay. All right. Next up. Next up. Um, let's say cheap, expensive, cheap, expensive. This is Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion in a Bottle. Um, and this is, I like some of Dr. Brandt's products. So he's been around for quite a long time. I'm just going to put that on for you like that. You can see it. Um, let me see if I've got the price of it. Goldfarden, Linda Roden, Oscar. <laughs> No, it's not here. Hang on. No, I'm not going to use that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I do like it, but I'm going to use this one. This has got to be my favourite combination of a strong exfoliation. New one here. Yum, yum. Uh, with an incredible smell. So this is stronger than Linda Rodstein. Rodin. Linda Rodin. Um, and it goes to this incredible colour as you... Oh, the room. It's from, I never know how to pronounce it, Omorovitska, Omorovitska, Omorovitska. It's got algae in it and I've definitely got some rose geranium, um, calcium, magnesium. Omorovitska is a Hungarian facialist. She started in about 2006. And she has, you see pictures of her, she has an incredible skin. And I did a TV show in um, Poland and Hungary and those areas. And I always find those women have beautiful, beautiful skins and they use thermal baths. It's, you know, Hungarians have a lot of um, Haman kind of uh, places you can go to in Budapest. But her belief is thermal waters combined with essential oils 
and algae is the basis of her skincare range. She also has a wonderful serum I love. But this is an exfoliator. It's got the smell, it's got the exfoliation, it's not micro beads. I don't know what they are actually, um, which are giving the, it's got more mud in it, which are giving the beads. But it's fantastic. This. It's probably my second favorite exfoliator. Oh, yes. You can also leave it on. It doesn't say you can do this, but I think one should never feel like, well, what do you need to do? She's just getting across the bar. I don't think you should ever always obey totally the rules of products. So, you know, I quite like if you were having um, a slightly greasy skin, just leave this on for a while because it's got the more mud in it, which is going to act as a mask. And it's got the algae in it, which is going to calm things down. So, funny, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got no hot water. You want Lily in the bath. Okay, we are so chaotic here. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> taking that one off. And I would probably also take that off with water um, over the tap. Okay, there we go. Ah! All right, now if you wanted to have, sorry, I'm pulling my arms up now. If you want to have a nice high street exfoliator for a sensitive skin, look no further than Aven, which is Boots. Um, Boots sell Aven, it's 12 pounds. It's got thermal spring water in it. It's non-irritating. <coughs> It's sort of, um, the beads are, well, they're not beads, they're now, I don't know what they are now, but I know they change it from beads. Um, but it's in this kind of gel formula. When you put it on, you know, nice smell. They change the smell a tiny bit since I first started using it. It smells a little bit more antiseptic, but this is, going to give you a good exfoliation. It's not going to be rough on your skin. You can move your hands gently over your face. You needn't be as rough as I usually am. Um, and you can get into the area. So if you're some of your sense of skin, but you have blackheads, you could just use your exfoliator in the morning and just go in that area. Lila, you should listen to this. Go in that area around your nose and just clean a bit extra. I have a lot of women who come into Trini London and Many of them have an amazing skincare routine, but a few of them, and on this morning, I'll feel their face and I'll think, you just need to exfoliate. It's the simplest thing you could do. You know, there's so many other creams you might be putting on, but just start with getting that skin polished. Um, and I believe in it so much. So just this one, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Very slightly... Slightly sticky at the end. <clears throat> it's got rose in it, but I think very small amount. It's kind of, yes, very low. The smell, that lovely little rose smell has slightly dissipated in this product. It's the first time I've tried it for a few months and I must say I noticed that. Okay, all right, ladies, we have done how many? We've done one, let's recap. Una Brenner Vitamin C, 9.99. Um, Aven, 12, uh, how much is the Aven one? Aven, 12 pounds. Una Brenna is a really good price, isn't it? It's much more volume. The Rodin, if you want that lovely, organic, healthy, rice bran type of exfoliation. Omoritsukova, Omorits, Omoritsukova, 65 pounds, expensive. Along the lines of that one too, I would go to my favorite, one of my favorites, which is Dr. Lancer. And this has got the biggest tube. So this is actually um, 40, 120 um, grams. So it's bigger than any of the others. This, I'll tell you what I think is great about this product, if you've got the money to spend, because it is 60 quid. Um, it comes in three strengths. So you can have sensitive skin, you can have um, normal skin and you can have acne prone skin. The acne prone skin is the um, most exfoliating of all of them. It's got this sort of feeling like sand has been mixed with, it's got the feeling of sand on your face, but there's also, you feel some hydration. You don't think it's gonna strip your face. And Dr. Lancer himself is a very strong advocate of having exfoliation in your regime and of doing exfoliation before you do cleansing. And I met him 
10 years ago when he came over and I thought, I love this man because I, he gets what I really have done for years. And it was the first person I met who believed in exfoliation before cleansing. So in the morning, that's definitely what I do. But this, you know, when you're doing your exfoliation here, sometimes it's best instead of do sweeping big circles to do little circles and work your way around like that, like you're a slightly a little microdermabrasion machine, um, but it's just a good way to not pull your skin too much. And if your skin is a little bit saggy, you can always hold your skin and do it. Don't forget as well, just to exfoliate gently above your brow bone, because this part of our skin, when we grow up, can become a little bit um, thin and saggy. And I think stimulating it every morning when you clean your face is really important because that skin can stay as good as the rest of our face. And I think a lot of the time I see women's faces and they've had a fantastic regime, but it sort of stopped at their eyebrow. And I see that the, the, the skin on, on the underneath their eyebrow is, is very different. So try and give that the same attention that you give to the rest of your face. Um, when you do, Dr. Lancer, you'll definitely notice that your skin becomes red afterwards because it really, I do it quite hard and I love that stimulation. It's no better. There's no better exfoliator to me. With this one, I do tend to take it off with water because otherwise I find it doesn't come off totally on my face. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, one second. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Having cleaned my skin five times now, I think it's quite clean. All right, I'm going to have, I'm going to do two more products. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, this is uh, quite interesting. This is an exfoliating balm. And it's from here, I'm going to let me get the micro exfoliating balm. There we go. And this is by Oskia. And it's, I kind of love this product. She uses an MSM. It has a lot of vitamins in it. A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6. So it's got niacinamide in there. C, D and E, minerals, MSM, zinc, glycerin, prebiotics, omega-3, 6 and 9, rosehip, cuckoo nut and sweet almond oil hell of a lot of products. Um, you can smell, I can smell the cuckoo, but I use this and I think I got into this product through Caroline Herons, I think. But there's hardly any sense when you feel it in your fingers, it's like the finest exfoliation. You can hardly feel that, but there is something in the liquidity of it. So you do feel a tingling on your skin. So it's exfoliating not just with physical beads. Um, the smell is, there's a sweet almond oil I can smell. Rose hip, cuckoo nut, yes. But this is really packing it in with some of the um, vinera, uh, vitamins and minerals that you might be taking organic, uh, uh, um, orally. And I like the idea of what we put on our face is what we take orally. But this definitely will be the kind of cleansing balm that when you take it off, you wouldn't necessarily need to put a moisturizer on immediately afterwards. It's not gonna tighten your skin to the point of you think, mm, I need something now to, to soften it up. It really is an interesting end result. Um, this is a new product for me. Uh, the company launched in 2009, Georgie Cleave. <coughs> Bless you, Lila. Um, and she really had a good time with MSM. I've used MSM as a supplement. I've used MSM glycosamine with bromide, and I've used that for joint mobility. So she kind of loves MSM as a vitamin, uh, or a mineral, sorry. And she's using an amount of it in here. I don't know what amount, but this is very good. Actually, I forget how much I love this. I haven't used this for a few months. And it's just got great movability is the only way I can describe it because I'm feeling the oil being released as I, the more I massage it into my skin. 
and I can smell the rose geranium, which is one of my favorites. <sighs> Sweet almond oil, mm. I like to inhale smell when I wake up. <sighs> okay. All right, that's great, that's a good one. I would take that one off with a cloth. I don't think you need to take it off with your fingers because I think also the oil in it wouldn't come off easily. So you need the cloth to help you get it off. That's great. That really feels good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, have I done one, two, three? There, Oscar. There we go. Now. I'm going to go on to, I've got three more here and I feel I should do a secret seven. I'm just going to do a great simple exfoliator I recently discovered, which some of you might have followed on Instagram, which is The Sanctuary. All right. The Sanctuary is a brand that um, has been around quite a few years. It's sold in boots. And this has in it, let me just remind myself what it has in it. Um, sweet almond oil, charcoal, beeswax, glycerin and zeolite i don't know what zeolite is i know that the sweet almond oil is what's giving it a nice ease of application um the charcoal is going to be very good if you have a congested skin because that's going to slightly decongest your skin um what else got beeswax is just an emollient for it to go around your face in a nice way glycerin is what many cleansers um have as the base of their ingredient and zeolite, I don't know. It's 10 pounds. That's not bad. And this is for, I'm just gonna see how much it's US, 100 ml. Okay, there we go. It's turning white and that's the glycerin when it has contact with the skin. It's one that feels rough. If I had to do rough beading versus smooth beading, I'd say the roughest beading is probably the um, Dr. Lancer. Then, actually no, the roughest beading actually is the vitamin C. Then it's Dr. Lancer, but I did that in the normal, not the acne. Then it's the Sanctuary. Then it's um, Omritsakova. Then it's um, Dr. Uh, I mean, uh, Van Thermal Water. And then it would be Rodin. There's seven, okay. All right, we're done. Just wanted to show you the effect. I'm gonna take this off with a cloth um, and I'm just gonna say two more that are, I'm just gonna give quick attention to. All right, um, but I won't put them on now because we don't have time. Ooh. Ooh. And this is not that difficult to get off either. Some exfoliators you just find, they're tricky to remove, but this is not. Okay. Excuse me. Now, um, and my skin is feeling dry. Gold Farden, Dr. Advanced Scrub. This is a product I've used a lot. I won't use this every day. This is a sort of microdermabrasion in a jar. Very similar to the one I was going to start using, which is Dr. Brandt. Um, but the, um, the Gold Farden is very good if you have problem skin. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, seaweed extract, organic red tea, very good antioxidant, but you can get the normal one or the advanced one. So the normal one is a bit goopy. That's the normal one. That's a bit goopy. The advanced one, you literally are picking up micro, you're picking up, it's like, it's like you were doing microdermabrasion in that crystal tube thing. I don't know if you've ever had that sucking thing, it goes like that. And these crystals go round and they clean your skin. It goes, <laughs> Anyway, it's like that. And the microdermabrasion in a bottle from, um, I don't have the price of this, from Dr. Brandt. Do I have the price of this? No, I don't. It's similar. Okay, ladies, that's exfoliators. I'm just going to take questions before we move on. Would, uh, okay, so sorry, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to, all right, sorry, ladies. This is just, um, okay. Oh, you've got so many questions. I'm Okay, I'm going to start here. 
You're using Lizelle's, this is my favorite. Lizelle's um, Cleanse and Polish is great. It's a great intro to exfoliators. It's definitely a baby compared to these ones, I have to tell you. Um, do I ever do my neck and decollete when I'm not on Facebook Live? I always do my neck. I'm not doing it today because I've got a top on, but I always include my neck in my exfoliating and that's a really important thing to do. Um, I exfoliate daily, it helps my skin a lot. Um, can I give up smoking? Yes. Linda, muslin cloth exfoliation just removes dead skin cells. You really do not need this overpriced. Linda, I've got to say, muslin cloth might be fine, but I think that with a muslin cloth, you could just, I mean, I've got muslin cloths in here. And to use a muslin, a muslin cloth on its own, you're going to really, I don't know, I don't think that's going to do it for me. I need some lubricant to put that with. And it depends on how much you want your cleansing routine to be a ritual. You could use some of these nine pound products. You might use a two pound product, but I like to spend time on my cleansing. I'll throw on my serum, I'll throw on a night cream, but cleansing I spend time on and I just value it and I think it works well. And this is my skin now and um, I've done it for quite a long time. Um, can I do a feet regime with summer coming up? I so can. My skin feels like silk afterwards. Just order the Om Arots of Vixka. It's so sandy, it's divine. It's a, it's a secretly big indulgence of mine. Um, uh, da, da, da. Ladies can just mention something fantastic. I hurt my knee and while healing it was itching. So I ordered some CBD rose geranium balm, used it and the itching stopped immediately. Very nice. Thank you for letting us know. Check out how natural your products are on an amazing app called Think Dirty, everyone. Great. That's good. Um, love Oski. It's a miracle worker. It's fantastic. Um, I use Botanics from Boots. It's good Botanics from Boots. Um, Trini, how do you feel about Derma? Planing, derma planing, derma planing. Um, I think that if you mean the brows, derma planing, or if you mean the skin, there's a um, technique which is a sort of laser, ablative laser, laser, which some people call derma planing. I'm not sure which one you mean. Ask me in more detail. Can I over cleanse or scrub? You can. Um, I tend to exfoliate and then I'll do a cleansing balm on top and I feel that combination works really well on my skin. Um, uh, happy Easter, your, your poor face. <laughs> I keep getting rosacea breakouts which do not go away. I do exfoliate but not sure how to prevent them. Can I help? But I'm going to do a whole rosacea story in about two weeks so keep out for that. I've got somebody coming in to talk about it and I hope it will help. Um, uh, Vicky, what was the restaurant called in New York that you talked about? You said it was amazing food. I, it is called The Grill and it's in the Seagram's building. It's fantastic. Um, happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Um, or was it the More Cream Cleanser? Are you using American washcloths or muslin cloths? I use um, muslin cloths, which are my old Eve Long cloths. And I use also um, normal flannels. I'm currently using Tropic. It's organic and vegan. Cost is reasonable and affordable for all. I love the products. In fact, they're so lovely you could eat the products. Very nice, Trudy. We love a new product. I need that powder one. Please, Trini, let me know where I can get it from. This is from Liberties, the Rodin product. So you could try there. Um, try the Dr. Brand. It's very good. I'll alternate that with Dr. Lancer. It is good. Why is there no option like PP, PPL, PPLS comments? I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. The first one of vitamin C is only six nine nine at Boots Moment. Fantastic, thank you. I love the Indeed Labs powdered exfoliator, dupe for the most top end powder exfoliators. It's very good, Amy. You remind me of that actually. I don't know if I still have it here, um, but it's a real dupe, the Indeed Labs for the Dermalogica. Very good point. I forgot about that one. Really good, Amy. Thank you. I love it when you all share. I'm thinking of doing some Facebook Live groups on here. Um, and I'd love to have some ideas of groups that you might like to be a part of. So, you know, the serum group, it could be that boring, the serum group, the cleanser group, and you could go on and just see people um, saying their favorite products because I love seeing other people's products and I want to try them myself. So think of what kind of groups would be nice to have on the website and we can think of what we can build up for you. Um, what should I use sensitive skin? I think the Aven is really good for sensitive skin, Lisa. Um, when do I use Le Ambrelise? It's a moisturizer and I'll use it just as a moisturizer over a serum. 
I exfoliate every day because you love it. So does my skin, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you, Emma Gibbs, on the list for boots. That's great. I so love you. Help each other. I know this isn't a question we cleansing, but could you please tell me if after microneedling, can I put a retinol on afterwards? Kelly, I do, because that's why I microneedle, so I can put on these stronger products. But you must start gently, because there were some ladies who hadn't microneedled before, and they were watching us, and then they went for it, and their skin got a bit red. So microneedle put half the amount of your retinol you'd normally put on and just see how you go. You can always put on top of that retinol a nice facial oil. That's what I sometimes do. I do Vintner's Daughter, um, just to not be so abrasive, but still let that retinol penetrate. Um, my skin is sensitive. I just had the needling. Do you approve? Have to say very painful. Thanks. It is um, gay. Uh, um, I'm just used Elemis Stuff Buff. I like acid exfoliate as much as my Indeed powder exfoliator. Never need to do harsh scrubs. Amy, you say harsh scrubs, but I like both. There's a place in my regime for both. What's the name of the Victoria Decatur candle burning in your makeup room? Oh, it's so good, that. Oh, we finished it. But it could be Victoria Cater does these incredible, I mean, if you want a scented candle, there is no better scented candle. And I think the one that was in our bath, on our makeup room was called Casablanca. But every one of the candles is superb. Go on the side if you want beautiful, beautiful um, candles with everything real and nothing fake. Um, okay. I know you don't believe in eye creams, but how do I get rid of lines and creases under my eyes without Botox? Rachel, I think it's about um, massage. Um, you could do a tiny microneedling, but really, really gently. Um, I think it's about how you take off your eye makeup. So even though I've done Botox, all my life when I've taken off my eye makeup, I've done that, all right? I've never done that, ever. So think about how you take off your eye makeup. So go like that and go like that and just, Get in that habit, because if at 27 you're worried about lines under your eyes, it could be you're just pulling a lot that way. That's my idea. Now, ladies, I'm not going to go and do, I'm sorry, um, the other cleansers today, because I think that the um, exfoliators took a long time. But I'm going to do tomorrow morning, I will do cleansing balms and gel cream, exfoli uh, gel cream cleansers, because I think Lila and I now have got to go off, haven't we, Bunny? Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm going to now just do a little bit of a routine. Um, of a morning routine on my skin and I'm actually going to go straight to I'm going to do a hydrating mist One second, what have we got here? Oh, this is lovely in the Oscar vein I'm going to do the City Life facial mist so so nice I mean the smell is divine I love the fact it's a mist in a tube how cool is that? So dab that on, pat that on. And you know how some mists you feel, they say they're hydrating and they're not. This is a really hydrating, really hydrating. Um, and then I'm just gonna go straight on to CEO, which is Sunday Riley. Um, I had the lotion, but I can't find it in my bathroom. And so I'm just gonna pile on, because this is a quick way for me doing a vitamin C and a vitamin E and doing two in one. So, and it gives a nice finish to the skin. There, voila, voila. So, Lila, yeah. are you just about ready? Yeah. I need to just do a little bit of makeup, Bunny. Okay, yeah. um, so what am I gonna With do? With the Trini gonna... London stack. What? With the Trini London stack. With the Trini London stack. Hashtag my daughter, good. my daughter, She's she is my best advocate. I'm going to use, I never, Everything in here, oh, I've got a light and a medium. I'm going to use light and medium. It's like an old routine, you all know, ladies. Um, and after you've done a lot of exfoliation. It's getting hotter, it's got an SPF, which will really help your skin out. Okay, come and say, come and tell them, come and tell them, Lila. What? Come and tell them, come and tell them. This is my daughter. Okay, see, if, see how much you've picked up. So, I'm putting on Lila now, the BFF. So why is the BFF good? Because it's got an SPF, yeah. which since it's getting a bit hotter here in England. Yeah, you're moving the thing when you do that, yeah. It could help out your skin and not make you get wrinkles. Not make you get wrinkles, why? Think spots. about why. Because of the sun. Because of the sun, when you get burnt, okay. And peely skin. 
and peely skin. Lila actually uses SPF, thank God. I put it on my hands too. Okay, Lila, what am I gonna put on next? You're gonna put on your Just a Touch. Oh my God. In the print on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, where am I gonna put it? I'm gonna put it onto your eyes. Yeah. And on your nose, and you can even put a lighter shade, which you can use as a highlighter, if you're wondering. Do you do that? Yeah. You do? Do you use the um, BFF? No. You don't? Do you use the... You use the BFF, don't you? I use Lila. I use Lila. She uses Lila. Of course she does. Lila had a great joy because I called up Lila and I said, Lila, you need to give me four, no four more names for lip glow because we're getting four more shades. Four more shades. Have you told your friends yet? No, don't, I don't, told don't, them. Don't, don't, don't. You told them. Okay. All right, there we go. So I've done my skin. I did put on today, I have to say, ladies, I put on today some of my Rita Hazan, which is my spray for when your hair's gone a bit grey. I'll show you a bit now. See that? Cover it up, but I put a bit too much on. I feel it's a bit too dense. Is it hair dye? Hmm? Is it hair dye? Is it hair dye? She says, yes, it's hair dye. Okay, now I'm going to put on some brow, Lila. Some brow? Yeah, I'm going to put on some brow. What brand? Oh, it's an eyebrow tint. I'm just going to try it. This is from And Other Stories. No. Yeah. I have Lila, you're... Sorry. Sorry, darling, because you're just... I can't see. Okay, there we go. You've got Benefit. Yeah. You have Benefit? And Glossier. And Glossier. Glossier Boy Brow. That's your product. Okay, and then I'm going to put on... Lila? Are you going to put on Face Finish? I'm going to put on face finish. Yes, thank you. Shall I put on some, um, shall I put on a bit of cheekbones first? Yeah. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. Go like find your cheekbone. You've got to find your cheekbone underneath your cheekbone and pull it down. Yeah. There. Okay. This is very good if you just want to give some shape to your cheeks. Um, and make them feel a bit contoured. There we go. Jawline. Right, and it's good on your jawline, thank you. Then I'm going to take Starlight. That's one of the right lights. That's one of the right lights, Lila, thank you. And where am I putting that? Uh, on top of your cheekbone and on your nose. Okay, and on my nose, why? Is that a Kim Kardashian nose? way? I'm going to put it on my nose. Okay, and then I'm going oh, to put it above my brows. eyes. Like that. Under my brows, bone. yes. Thank you. And then, what else? Uh, are you going to do cheek, lips, cheek? I'm going to do some BF. Some I'm going to do. Flush, flush. I'm going to do. I'm next going to do my face finish, and I'm, I'm going to finish. take a section of it and just. What does it do? It just mattifies where I need to mattify, oh, and good. then also I put it above my lips here to make a very smooth line like that and take away any kind of line. So the lady who said she had lines under her eyes and is 26, which darling, really, um, that would be difficult. But you could use this and it would diminish your lines. Then, what else am I gonna do? Flush, flush. You know what I might do? I'm gonna do some Genster today. I'm just piling it on. I'm gonna do a little bit of color because I'm not away and Lila and I are usually away. Actually, I've got tan from skiing. Um, she has got a tan from skiing. I'm putting on Genster and Genster is a really nice, just gives you a little bit of tan. I hardly ever do this, but I'm doing this today. See, just, a, yeah, actually a bit of tan. There, look. You can there. tell people you've been on a hot holiday. I can pretend I've been on a hot holiday. And then, Bonnie, what am I going to do? I'm going to blush, do blush. next, blush, blush. You know, I'm going to do munchkin. Munchkin is a color I did the other day everywhere. I'm going to show you. A little bit on the lip, like that. Munchkin looks like a color that's very dark, but I'll just put the smallest amount and then I'll put a little bit on my cheeks like that and then I'm going to show you a tiny bit on my eyes Lila eyes. like that and it just makes them a bit bluer right. okay and then, and then shall I finish with some Lila yes all right I'll finish with some Lila I like Talis as well you like Talis okay so I can... Rouge. yeah and Maddie and Taylor and, yeah. and then I'll take the last bit of Lila and I'll put it there and then I will, so that's my stack I'm taking with me, all my makeup. And then I'm going to do a bit of- And you can even do it in the car. I can even do it in the car. I'm going to do ref perspective, respectissimi La Roche-Posay mascara. Just add some volume. 
Third a bit of volume, thank you, Bunny. Little rolling and pulling out, rolling and pulling out. There we go. And then on my lower lashes, I don't know how many of you do lower lashes, but I like a lower lash. One. Okay, I think I'm done, Bun. Okay. Am I done? Yeah. Does it look all right? Yeah, it looks Thank good. You. Thank you. Okay, ladies, can I just say happy Easter? And I will put everything up later. Um, I'd love to take more of your questions, but I'm now feeling the dog is barking. My child is calling. Um, uh, a group for 50 something women re skincare would be fab. Thank you. Did products ever neutralize each other? No, um, not these ones. Um, um, age groups, treatments for mature skin. Call it the face place. I'm going to. I can't send you a list of the ones I've used, but I will put it up on Trini London, um, the tea time. Where do I get this? I'm wanting to micro needle. My friend said it's brilliant, but I'm scared. <laughs> I've done a whole micro needling um, page that I, a blog that I did on Trini London tea time. So you can read it. Um, when am I going to bring out a good lip filler or could you please help recommend one? Watch this space coming very soon. Um, and Macy, Trini will list all the products. Thank you very much. Hello everyone watching Pakistan. Hello. I've developed major skin sensitivity since 50. I'm now using La Roche-Posay cleanser. What are your thoughts on their products? I think they're great. And I think um, they have a very good um, sensitive range. So I think it's it's very good. Mario Badescu face spray, I'll try. Can you put makeup on off micro -needing? I do. You have very oily skin. I don't use any oily foundation moisturizer. I'm lost. No, so I'm going to do something on very oily stuff um, very soon, very oily skin. Okay, Lila, get Lily so they can see Lily because they want to see Lily. Um, Sandy, thank you very much. Um, painting a canvas so fun. I'm setting up a Botox and subdermal fillers business. Can't wait. Interesting. Lila's so lovely. She is funny, isn't she? Lila's Love that mascara. It's great. Okay, this is Lily, the dog. There she is. And you've got to lift her up more, darling. There she is. There's Lily the dog. So from Lily the dog, there, get, get you there. Lily, say hello. Say hello. Lily the dog. There she is. From Lily and us, have a lovely, happy Easter, and we'll catch up soon. Bye. Bye. Oopsie.